end of the course you would have worked on three relevant projects ladies and gentlemen that is so exciting hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're just stopping by for the first time you're most definitely welcome so now we have a learning roadmap right um now this for those who are just new here if you haven't seen my previous video you should go and watch it in that video i gave a detailed breakdown needed to break into data analytics now in this video i'm going to share my top courses to learn data analytics fast and now this course as well as the platforms chosen are courses i used when i set out to this field and they were chosen based on the following and now the first one is the ease of learning right also the fact that their project base is also very important and the cost as well so they are literally minimal cost and also the fact that you also have access to communities while you're learning so you're really never alone but before i go on please note that i'm not paid for any of these links um, or courses i'm mentioning in this video i'm only just recommending them based on what i learned and how these courses help to solidify my knowledge in each of these tools and technologies so please take note of these guys <laughs> So now that I have a learning road, my question is what courses do you need to take now that you're starting off with data analytics? And this video, I'm about to literally guide you and also recommend some relevant courses that you'd need to take in starting out, right? And aside that, in my next video, I'll also point out to you some relevant projects as well too. But in this video, let's start by even highlighting different courses that I use personally to learn to break into this field of data analytics. One thing I'll let you know is that you don't need to learn or master all different tools or languages before you can even go on, right? I mean, before I even broke into data analytics i think the only thing i was good with was microsoft power bi my sql skills were still a bit flaky at the time but in my current job i'm trying using sql like on a regular right so you don't really need to be to have mastered every single one of these skills frankly speaking from my own point of view before you actually decide to even go on and apply for jobs data analytics so right now i'm going to list some data analytics calls for you to learn data analytics fast so one important technical skill that i didn't list in my previous video is statistics and i would highly highly recommend starting off with statistics if you're new to this field in data analysis statistics is literally the core foundation upon which all that concepts are built right it is a mathematical based approach to derive um insight and knowledge from a broad range of complex data and as an upcoming business intelligence analyst right or even a data analyst or even a data scientist you'll be dealing with a lot of data and you'll also be churning a lot of figures as well too and in order to generate relevant insights needed for an organization professionals literally encourage and advise that you have a basic knowledge of probabilities and statistics as it's very essential in drawing out insights from your data and now my most preferred course for this and one that i highly recommend is a free course by udacity zero cost guys it costs you nothing and it's by san jose university it provides a holistic overview of statistics and this course differentiates between analysis done on a population versus um sample of observation it covers the basic of central tendencies such as your mean your mode your median which is literally the very first step you need to understand the type of data you're working with and whether it's even a population observation or a sample observation and you also learn the effects of outliers on mean bone and median and how to also handle these outliers when they occur it covers probability hypothesis testing the different types of distribution such as uniform distribution positive skewed negative skewed and also the use of google sheets as well too now the link to this course is in my description down below and i also wrote an article on this as well too on my medium post so if you'd want love to read that as well too you can check that out i'll put the link in my description like i earlier said another one on the radar is sql sql i mean i hear people call it sql i hear people call it sql but i mean i'm so it's going to sql because sql has like a different meaning altogether but let's just jump right into the context of this video right anyways moving on sql is the top language used in data analytics now it is important because that is the language used to speak to your database right and that's the only language that your database literally understands it's used to store retrieve manipulate and also manage data within your database now for this i really and i highly recommend a particular course and also maven analytics on udemy now these are two courses i learned with the first one is the complete sql bootcamp 
go from zero to hero and this is quite basic i must say now this is my personal review and why i suggest this is because it starts from the very beginning with no prior learning experience needed right also you learn how to install your postgres sql in your machine and you also get to do some coding challenges as you go along learning this course this course also comes with assessment tests right to test your sql knowledge plus you also have lifetime access to a community of students just as yourself so you're really never alone so it starts with you installing postgres sql and then learning the basics such as your dbs right understanding the tables your big six statements your clusters your selects your from your where your group buys your having other by you know your aggregate functions literally and then you go to understanding how join works and also how to filter out data you also learn correlates as well too literally in this course you learn the basic and now this is why i'm recommending the second course as a follow-up which is the advanced sql my sql data analysis and business intelligence course i love love this course guys it's by maven analytics and this is not a beginner friendly course i must say but it sort of like supplements the previous beginner course that i just recommended now the reason why i love this course is and, I, and why i also recommend is because it literally puts you in the place of a data analyst working in a in an e-commerce store i believe so more like you're trying to analyze um more like you're working as a ma in the marketing department right as a data analyst now the whole point is you're working as a new employee in the store and as you learn you'll be taxed with solving some business related questions right such as analyzing and optimizing marketing channels measuring the impact of new products launch right um traffic source analysis as well to the landing page optimizing and also testing as well so as a data analyst and while you're doing this you learn advanced sql concepts like your cte's your case when functions when to use them and the likes so to wrap it off you have done a fully fledged capstone project at the end of this course so this is one reason why i would 100 percent recommend this course if you have inner background in sql i want to just rack up your your beginner knowledge with an advanced course in sql i would definitely highly recommend this course guys if you've come to this part of this video ensure to like share and subscribe down below it helps my youtube channel to grow and also helps youtube to also recommend my video to other people who are looking to break into this space so moving on let's continue with this video by now you already start feeling confident i can even start working on personal projects for your for your portfolio so from here we go on to the next required skill which is excel and now this course or any course that comes from this tutorial or school is one course that i would always vouch for and now this is because i learned from them when i was starting out in microsoft power bi and i know how much i leveled up as a person now the excel course is from resa gracia now resa gracia is a nigerian consulting company and the work they put into creating this course is stellar it is excellent literally very excellent so it's a three hours course and you can just say it's like a crash course really now the name of the excel course is excel crash course dashboard data analysis and heat map i'll have that link in my description down below right i'm so excited about this because that's a very good um project to have on your resume as a person and now in this in this course you'll be running data analytics functions to extract time intelligence parameters you also learn how to use pivot tables as well too you get a strong grasp of power query in excel and literally feel comfortable running business analytics calculations now amongst many things that actually interest me in this course or with this course is the project and the real world data set that's being used I mean you also get to work with data set from twitter you would be learning how to create you'd also learn how to create a laundering service model and invoicing dashboard right currency converters as well too where you learn power query x lookup pivot table and a lot really at the end of the course you would have worked on three relevant projects ladies and gentlemen that is so exciting next tool required to learn is a business intelligence analytic analytical tool and for this if you'll be going through the microsoft power bi route plural site is the way for plural site i recommend the microsoft power bi for data analysis course in plural site now this is why i recommend this course because after module one and two we teach you how to prepare data and create data models in power bi you immediately jump into learning how to use power query right so learn how to write dax functions right also using dax in parameters and you also learn how to work with dates as well too and also time in power bi and then move into the intermediate class where you get to learn and understand what you need to know before you start building a report like 
asking the relevant stakeholders of this report so more like um ensuring you actually create a report based on what your stakeholders need as well as how to draw insights or make decisions based on the report that you've created also you understand how to work with different visualizations so like your charts like different charts available like the part charts the stacked column charts your clustered column charts also when to even use a pie chart right so we've learned that it's important to use a pie chart for two or five proportions also it's good to use a pie chart when you're approximating as well to like in terms of percentages right you would also understand when to use the funnel chart and now these are very are very very good when you want to analyze the success of say like um a promotional campaign or conversion and retention rates in your company or literally like let's say recruitment process in hr right so now the intermediate course is really comprehensive like really really comprehensive and so detailed in that same course you would go into the advanced stage where you familiarize yourself with shaping and querying your data using M, understanding the problems M can solve, like manual data manipulation, flat file pains, also varied data sources, local solutions. But you can decide to go on to the advanced stage or just literally stop at the intermediate stage. Now, this is the stage I stopped in personally. Now we move on to add-ons. And one add-on I listed was Python. So now for Python, data camp is like the most preferred route and actually the most effective route, I must say. Now this is because you really just need to learn the basic for python like your panda and how to use your plot lips and the likes right and also learn different library that is available for your data analysis also i would say that you can go on to also take a google data analytics certificate as well to on coursera and i would not really put a lot of emphasis on this because there are other um, fellow youtubers who have done really good reviews on this course on this certification so i'd advise that i probably just watch them and just access based on your need right and then i would say that i put this as the last is because after I've taken all the above listed courses I've mentioned taking certification will be like a breeze and then again we know that having a certification in data analysis is sort of good your resume so now in conclusion you don't need to master every single one of these tool or languages or technologies before you become a data analyst guys you just need to be able to know how to apply what you learned when you're taxed with a project and now this brings me to my next video so if you haven't subscribed or or you don't have the bell notification turned on you should now this is because in my next video i will dish out to you the projects to work on that you can include on your resume so thank you so much guys for watching if you found this video very insightful for you please ensure to give it a thumbs up like subscribe share and let's get as many people who are interested to break into this field of data analytics right so come watch this video and also learn a lot of things and also start their learning journey in data analytics so have a great day guys bye